Well, howdy everyone. It's 420 Grower here, and we are doing something different this time. This is going to be a sod grow uh, with small plants, and I have two totes here. There are 12 plants in each, and there are six Mac ones down at the end and six death bubbas at the front and then in this tray there are some black banana and some gorilla glue and some double tap this bigger one is a tropicana and behind it we have an SFE um, this closet is, uh, two feet by eight feet. Currently, I have two lights in here. I have my HLG 550 that is dimmed down to, uh, 300 watts still. And I have my HLG 300 on the other side over this tote. Uh, it's a pretty simple system. It's just um, six inch net pots and they're covered with uh, some black plastic trash bags. I did put in a pad down here to keep the bottom wet. I'm not feeding them a whole lot, maybe once a day and they are just now starting to pop roots through the uh, the pots so today is day one I'm gonna I'm flipping these today so this is a flood and drain these trays are two feet by three feet and they're like I said there are 12 in each if I use smaller pots I probably could have got more in there what I'm using are these uh, six inch net pots here and there is a point of uh, diminishing return on a SOG typically I see a lot of people say they're growing in a SOG and they're really not they're growing large larger plants place close together but it's not a SOG if you're growing in two gallon containers you don't have a SOG. You just have a small a grow with small plants. A SOG uh, technically has minimal veg. Usually people will flip their plants when they have rooted and somewhere between maybe 6 to 12 inches would be the maximum on this and as you can see some of these are this one's about nine inches this one is in a bigger pot because she came out of um, a pot of cocoa and it just wouldn't really fit in a six inch uh, normally when you do this you're supposed to do all the same strain and it's supposed to be from clone not from seed uh, but because this is the first time I'm doing it, I wanted to test a lot of my varieties and see which ones will do better. I am not really expecting a whole lot out of this tray here. Um, the Mac 1 is a really slow vegger. I don't know how much she'll do in here. And the Death Bubba tends to be a really slow vegger too, but I'll tell you, nothing is as slow as that Mac one. I have a plant in my closet that's about three feet tall. It's been that tall. I got it in January, and it just stays there. Um, it's not a big plant, and it's not a fast-growing plant, at least not in veg. Uh, my expectations from this are not really that high. Uh, these plants are really small. I don't know what to expect. I'm guessing 
maybe a quarter to a half an ounce per plant might be uh, what I'll get. I've heard of people getting up to an ounce, but I don't think that's going to happen here. So the plants are in grow stones, and like I said, they're being uh, watered, flooded, and drained. Uh, my nutrients right now are at 900 parts per million and my pH is 5.8 and the plants don't seem to be having any problem with it uh, my plan is to bring the nutrients up to between a thousand and twelve hundred uh, gradual not all at once and see how they do if they start to tip burn I can back it off and like I said since this is uh, flood and drain in there and grow stones it's real easy to uh, dilute it or you know flush them out or whatever I need to do so I'm not too worried about that I'm kind of happy to be out of cocoa although some of these plants were started in cocoa uh, but the idea of just giving them what you give them and the, the uh, media doesn't hold anything uh, appeals to me a lot it just means better control and hopefully better grow so I uh, wanted to share this and uh, by the by if you do see some white spots on some of these leaves it is not powdery mildew it is residue I did a top feeding with some OG BioWar root pack and some of it splashed on the leaves and it's got talc for a carrier and it really does look like powdery mildew but it's not okay there's no powdery mildew in here and these plants are headed into their first day of 12-12 uh, just set the clock this morning and we'll see what they do uh, if you're wondering if there's an advantage to uh, SOG, uh, yes, there is. Uh, first of all, you skip a lot of the veg time because you're not vegging plants, really. You're just cloning them, rooting them, uh, maybe giving them a week or two of veg and then flipping them. In theory, you get a better yield uh, than large plants. You have a lot of small plants and you get a little bit off each and together they add up to more so I don't know if that's true we'll find out on here uh, I don't expect this grow to go perfect because I've never grown like this before to be honest I wish some of the clones were a little bit more uniform but one of the disadvantages of uh, sea of green is you have to have a lot of clones and that means you need to have big moms that you can take cuttings from and you need to keep the moms healthy and you need to be good at cloning uh, it's not recommended to do this from seed for a couple of reasons one is that there's too much variation between plants with seed and another is that seeds will uh, make a tap root and that makes the plants get bigger than you want so the idea here really is plants like this that are just going to be a single stem they're going to come up and hopefully they're going to make one nice top cola they might have one or two side branches that come up and then the whole uh, shebang gets filled but it's not an issue with light penetration because everything's up on top where it's getting light and uh, also you don't have to do any training or pruning or any of that crap with the sea of green so like I said uh, the only real disadvantage is you have to have a lot of clones and that means if you're not good at cloning it's probably not going to be um, for you uh, you could try it with seeds I've been from the research I found uh, it's not advised but if you have a really stable strain from seed 
it can probably be done otherwise what you're going to wind up with is some plants are two feet tall some plants are four feet tall and the idea of a sea of green is to have everything at the same level so it kind of defeats the purpose so this is where I'm going for now I'm gonna be kissing big plants behind I may not always do this number I think there's a happy medium there where I may uh, this is 24 plants in here I may go to half that I may go to 12 and flip them when they after a little bit more veg time and find a middle ground in between but to start out I figured I'd go 24 in here uh, that's about all I can fit in a tray unless I say wanted to go to uh, four inch rock wool cubes then I could probably get another uh, four in, in each tray or so uh, maybe a little bit more but I think that's already too much uh, and like I said it is hard to get a lot, enough clones you need a big mom because you're going to take a lot off and it has to grow back for the next grow so anyhow um, the garbage bags on here are just to keep the mat that's underneath them from getting algae you know I've done it with panda film and I just didn't feel like going out and buying another roll of panda film and cutting holes in it so these trash bags they fit real well in this tote you know and there's four of them in here and they're cheap and they're reusable uh, so that's what I went with in here so sea of green and we'll see what happens and until the next time I see you take care Happy gardening, don't forget to stay green.